So you're here, you're here at BYU, and maybe you've already decided you're going to attend graduate school here. Maybe you're still considering BYU as one of your options and want to learn more. Either way, I'm going to tell you a lot of valuable information about life as a chemistry grad student here at BYU. To start, the research is challenging. It's a tough program and it requires lots of hours and effort. But one thing I know for sure is that I always feel satisfied after a day in the lab or when I make a new discovery or get to present or publish some of my work. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry has five major research areas. Analytical, inorganic, organic, physical chemistry, and biochemistry. Each area has a lot of different faculty and research happening. When you start here, you'll spend your first semester learning about all the different research that's going on in the department. After your first semester, you get to choose the advisor and research lab you want to work for. There's no guarantee you'll be able to join your first choice, but fortunately, there are many outstanding accomplished professors here who are regularly publishing new works and making breakthroughs in a variety of fields. The department receives a lot of external funding from other sources to help fund the research going on here. Generally, this funding is upwards of $6 million. This also helps to keep our already state-of-the-art facilities ready to support the cutting-edge research we do here. There's also a lot of collaboration that goes on among professors and labs alike, both within and outside the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. So you will find a wide variety of interesting labs and projects here at BYU. Luckily, the student-to-faculty ratio is very good. Most professors only have a few students who work under them, and this enables them to offer individual attention to each of their students. We typically have around 100 graduate students here at BYU. A large percentage of that is made up of international students, and a generous portion of the graduate student population is female. On the average, over 40 different undergraduate universities are represented, so there is great diversity here. If you're getting your PhD, typically you'll take courses your first two years. You will start researching after your first semester, but probably won't start doing full-time research until after two years. And I say researching full-time, meaning that you'll devote all of your time to researching on your project and none of it on your coursework. This doesn't mean that you have a lighter load at that point. Hours will still be long in the lab. Now let's talk about money. First of all, 100% of your program tuition is paid, so that's really nice. Another one of the greatest perks of being a graduate student studying chemistry or biochemistry here at BYU is the annual stipend. You get paid over $20,000 each year, and it's paid to you like a paycheck every two weeks. Of course, you can still receive other awards that can add extra money to that. You basically earn the money by working as a teaching assistant or research assistant, working year-round. Just like any other job, you'll be able to take breaks and vacations. Up to two weeks of paid vacation per year will be allowed. However, if you choose to take anything beyond that, you'll likely be paid less. Not unlike other schools, before you begin your degree here, you must take some proficiency exams. Biochemistry students will only have to take one biochemistry exam. Chemistry students in other areas will need to pass four out of five chemistry exams, which cover biochemistry, analytical, physical, inorganic, and organic chemistry. Don't forget either that you have three chances to take the exams, January, May, and August. And what happens if you don't pass? Well, depending on your score, you may be required to take an extra course during fall or winter semesters to satisfy proficiency in that given area of chemistry. Also, it's good to know that the assistant graduate coordinator of the department has some sample tests which can be used to study for these proficiency exams. But basically, with these exams, the better you do on them, the easier your first fall and winter semesters will be. You need to arrive at least one week before classes start so you can take these exams and go through orientation. I would recommend coming even earlier so you can settle in. After graduation, we're certain you'll find similar employment opportunities as our past students who have gone on to work at many successful jobs. Some pursue academics and teach at world-renowned universities. Some find jobs working for government laboratories and other institutions, while others find jobs in the industry and work for larger companies. So with strong research programs, individual attention, a wholesome environment, and all the monetary benefits we have to offer, I hope that you now understand a little more about BYU's Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry graduate program. We're excited to hear from you, and hopefully we'll be working with you soon.